My name is Mike Kafka. I'm a quarterback for the Minnesota Vikings. I first found Evo about eight years ago when I was rehabbing for an injury in college. So I reached out to Jay a few times to make sure, just to get my point across, let him know what I was doing and that I was interested in training with him. And it really started a really good relationship. And you know, here we are eight years later um, and seeing great results and I, I couldn't have made a better decision to, to do this. I knew this was the, the best training system for me. It was my junior year um, after I had put in already two and a half years of work with Jay and the Evo training. And it was my first start back coming from the injury back way back, you know, freshman year. And so, you know, it was my really first opportunity to kind of display the training, what I've been preparing for, all these different things. And I had a pretty good game, ended up rushing for like 217 yards, threw for 200 and something yards, a couple touchdowns. And, you know, we ended up upsetting, um, you know, one of our ranked opponents in the Big Ten. So it was, it was great for me to, to want to, to get a win for the team, but also to show everyone, including myself, that I could play at this level and do the things I need to do to be successful. The difficulties of the training system that I've had to go through really started from day one. It's a challenging system. It's, you're not just going to go in and they're going to pat you on the back. They're going to make sure that every single detail of your training or position that you're in while you're training is critiqued and perfect. And at first, it's difficult because as a competitive person, you want to be right and you, know, you, want, to be, you want to do things right. And that was the biggest challenge for me is getting over that fear of like failure because you're going to fail in this system. Like that's what it's built on. But it's all about you know, what, how you react to that failure, adjust, fix it, and then move on and, and continue to get better in the training. Because if you really put your mind to it and your full intention into getting better at the training and whatever craft that you want to apply that to, uh, we call it the end picture, it's, that's where you'll see the most results. The Evo systems help me throw a football in many ways. Usually, I, the way I think of it as a quarterback, it starts from the ground up. So preparing your legs, your, your midsection, your core, your arms, all that stuff, all that stuff works together. And that's what the Evo training has really helped me put together and really helped me think about is all these muscles and all these groups, they work together. It's not just upper body, it's not just an arm throw. And that's what you see with a lot of quarterbacks who don't have a, quite a strong arm is that they're just throwing with their arm, they're not using their entire body. There's so much more potential that they could be using. And so in these past eight years, I've really developed and really started to get a better feeling and better understanding of how to use all of the power and velocity and force that I can into being the most productive quarterback I can be. In my, in my last eight years of being an Evo athlete and you know, using this training system for, for, for my sport, for my profession. I've, I think it, it has way more applications than just that. And I've been able to apply the, the teachings and the aspects that we learn in the gym to my daily life. And I think it's changed my life by far, you know, from the way that I am as a person to the way I am as a player, all of those things have, have impacted my life. And it's, it's been special. I'm really thankful that I've been able to go through that journey.